Elise Davis here in Studio B in support of her current record, Cactus. I enjoyed the comments uh, or, or your your comments about Cactus, maybe why you chose the name and everything. Can you, for someone who hasn't read your notes on sure. your website? Yeah. Um, when I was thinking about what to title this album, I, I was realizing that there's there's an underlying theme in the songs of basically someone who feels like a, a lone wolf and um and or just and there's a lot about independence and sexual liberation and um so I thought cactus was the perfect title because they are independent plants and they exist in the desert which inherently is kind of this lonely place and they can be beautiful and have colorful flowers on them but if you touch them they'll hurt you and um I, just all those parallels I thought really fit with this group of songs. Wow. Yeah. That that's even more colorful I think than <laughs> than your than the comments on your uh, website, which is by the way, let's tell everybody what your web it's. Yeah, uh, it's just my name elisedavis.com and it's e l i s e. There's like 80 different ways you can spell Elise. <laughs> I know, I've seen it, but anyway, but <laughs> but yeah, it's a beautiful website. I can tell you folks, she looks exactly like she does on her website. <laughs> Especially today. <laughs> today. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. I was, I was worried, I, and, and I am kind of underdressed for this occasion. <laughs> but anyway, they can't see us on the radio. So <laughs> anyway, Elise is at the Gray Eagle tonight uh, with Susto, mm -hmm. and then uh, you're going to be at the Evening Muse in Charlotte tomorrow night. Yeah, yeah. Again with Susto. Uh -huh. or, okay, yeah. cool. That's a great lineup. Yeah, yeah. I, it was my first time because uh, he usually plays as a full band, so this is a rare thing for him to do a very stripped down thing. And okay. uh, and it was really enjoyable. His songwriting is awesome. I agree. Um, tell me about working with Marin Morris. You, yeah. you, y'all wrote a song together. Yeah, um, we we've just co-written several times, and. Um, and she's incredibly talented. And we wrote that song before she became absolutely hugely famous. Before the Grammy? Yeah, yeah. But but it's so well-deserved. She um, is a truly gifted songwriter and singer. And, and uh, I could see that writing with her. Mm -hmm. And uh, I knew she was destined for big things. Well, so are you, I think. <laughs> Definitely. Cool. I appreciate and you that. guys co-wrote Don't Bring Me Flowers, which I believe is it's the last song on, yes. on Cactus. Uh -huh. Yeah. yeah. Great! I bet that was a that was a fun time. And yeah. it, the, when you're telling me about you know being you and and Justin being like y'all were just shut away working on the album for six months, people see you know you guys in somebody's den just sitting around you know yeah drinking beverages and <laughs> writing songs and oh, stuff. Yeah, yeah. There's there was a lot of long nights filled with tequila and trying things out, and <laughs> <laughs> and that's. That's one of my favorite parts about playing, being a musician in general, is the the recording process, the the creating the the albums. How much writing goes on on the road between shows? I don't really have time usually to sit alone in a room with a guitar, but we're in cars for hours and hours. So there, often throughout the day, there's like a, a line I think of or a word I see or something, and I I just have hundreds and hundreds of notes in my little notes app of things I go revisit when I'm home. So there's there's writing sporadically going on throughout the tour. See, we never know with you songwriters because, you know, sometimes you'll, you'll come up and go, we were sitting in a fast food drive through and and, I, and all of a sudden somebody did something and I came up with a song. <laughs> oh, yeah, and yeah. I, you know, you see somebody do something stupid or whatever, and, <laughs> and it's a song. One of my favorite songs I've written recently is called Dead Fly, and it's because I was sitting with my guitar and there was a dead fly I was staring at for a while on my windowsill, <laughs> and it turned into a song. So I, I love when stuff like that happens. It's amazing, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> and yeah. everybody doesn't have that talent to turn that into a song. <laughs> That's a gift you guys have. So, I mean, you know, that you have. Um, I'm going to leave you open to do a song from whatever sure. you want. 